Hello all, here with another summary for our Overheart Academy campaign, episode 3. So, the PCs made their way into the basement, an abandoned gun range that hasn't been used in some time. The stairs going down said, you have been warned, painted in white across the walls. As they descended the dirty staircase and opened the door at the bottom, they found a cleaned up room. The range itself had going waist high and just extending out with little rods to extend things down with some of the rubble that looked like it was cleaned up there. As well as a small uh, dresser uh, and a some kind of summoning circle with a what the team has guessed to be either a bison or a deer head at the bottom. Upon investigation, the Inferno was able to look back, gazing into the abyss, seeing that there was four people and a hostage. The hostages were tied up, the others wear robes, and the smell of cigarette smoke was everywhere. Meanwhile, our ghost explored the dresser, finding a makeup kit that was zipped up, as well as an empty pack of smokes. And our mortal discovered a body out on the range, buried in the rubble. This led to a panic where everyone evacuated, and the ghost returning later to burn it down. To burn the body. The next day, the group seen fire trucks and police and other assortments there, and much had gone on. The Inferno went to the principal to give their side of things, seeing Zach there who blamed Liam, as well as Olivia, who seemed to be out and about trying to get to the bottom of this. Many people were called in, many um, discussions. The ghost decided, determined something was odd, but the detective didn't react to the spookiness of them at all. During this, Liam and Zach got into a tuffle. Um, people were able to piece together later that those two don't get along due to some incident with a car. The group then went away for the weekend. Um, some going to the practice after school, the ghost putting things, watching the football players looking to speak about, to people about their pain, they ended up talking to Riley and getting invited to a party. The others also got the text chain bringing them out to a party for Saturday night. Uh, the group went out there to learn some things. The Infernal did her best to try and find out what happened to that book with Zach while encountering Victoria and her asking about the makeup kit. Others found out that Matilda had lent her makeup, or Victoria had lent her makeup kit to Madeline, who claimed to have lost it. There were other sorts of clues and moments and awkwardies during this party, and we left off with a sudden rain drenching the entire area, causing people to, you know, start packing up. And during this new moon, there was a howl in the distance. Maybe something's coming. All right, with that, that sums up our, that is our summary for this week. If there's anything I missed, feel free to comment. All right. Hope everyone's having a great week. I'll see everyone Tuesday. Bye for now.